Lupa. Come on, Lupa. We have been up for quite a while. Theo decided at 3.40 that it was morning, that it was time to get up. And he hasn't been cooperating to fall asleep since then. It's now 8 in the morning. So we have been up for over four hours already. And um, I'm just going to go ahead and say concealer was very much needed today. Uh, but we're having breakfast. As you can see, we're having oatmeal as always. Our new rule is that we have oatmeal on weekdays and then on the weekends we can have other yummy unhealthy breakfast. Uh, but yeah, we're having breakfast. Tyrion's gonna go to preschool as always. Theo and I are gonna go to the university because I have a bunch of books and stuff that I need to pick up. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, well, I'm not gonna have any dog. Mm -hmm. Tyrion's super excited because he's gonna get to go to his friend's house today after preschool and have dinner there and everything. So starting to get really nostalgic about the university. I have less than nine weeks left of this three and a half year program and uh, yeah I'm starting to feel kind of sad about it because I just realized now when I was walking from the train that there are certain like places of campus that I will never really be seeing again because I don't have any more exams there or like anything, <laughs> like that entire area over there, I used to spend so much time, specifically in, in a uh, lecture uh, room or hall or whatever, um, and I'll never see it again unless I like go there on my own just to see it, and that's not really the point. I just, I will never have a lecture there again. We only have one lecture left, the last one. And it is sad. I think it's sad because I love studying. I love this university and I love all of my like study friends and stuff. So it's sentimental for sure already. Theo did take a nap, but he only slept for 30 minutes. So I don't know what's going to happen with him. The hope says that he's going to fall asleep inside the library so that I can study with him sleeping. But today I unfortunately don't have a room booked because I thought about it too late and there were no rooms left so I'm not sure I don't want to disturb anyone else so we'll see if I can study at the university today or if I'm just gonna go back home some books we got some food in us so I guess this is goodbye to uni for this time we're back home and Theo is sleeping and it is amazing <laughs> if he wasn't sleeping outside I would definitely take a nap too right now but he is sleeping outside so I'm just gonna have a sandwich hopefully that will keep me awake uh, for some studying well Michael's home but we are going back to the university because I forgot a book that I need and it's only gonna be there for two more days um, It's only like on hold for me for two more days. So Michael was like, well, let's go get it I don't think I've ever showed the inside of the university, but here it is It's not as pretty as the outside The article is mine. Yay Animals and books used for preschool children I know I've talked about my essay and the fact that I'm working on this now and I'm going to be working on it for the rest of this semester but I don't know if I had mentioned what I was writing about but yeah I'm writing about animals in uh, books for kids like books that you can find at preschools since I'm becoming a preschool teacher and I am super pumped about writing about this I had other plans at first but now we've kind of settled on this me and my mentor and it feels awesome I love kids books and I love animals so <laughs> it's a good fit for me but right now we're gonna get some takeout we're gonna go home I'm gonna pick up Tyrion in a little bit once he's had his dinner and stuff at his friend's house and then it's bedtime and 
Tyrion, can you help me end the vlog? Yep. Please watch the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more of our daily vlogs. And we will see you tomorrow. And thank you for watching today. Hello!